The U.S. son can exclusively reveal Ashley has won full custody of their son, while Connor has just three hours of supervised visitation with him a week. According to court papers exclusively obtained by the U.S. son, Connor and Ashley appeared for a court hearing on January 9 and put their settlement agreement on the record. The court papers read, shall be awarded sole legal custody of Liam. This means that shall be responsible for making all the major decisions regarding Liam in the areas of medical, education, religion, and extracurricular activities, shall consult Connor for his input regarding these major decisions. However, as the parent with sole legal custody of Liam, if the parties disagree shall make the final decision. According to the order, Connor has supervised visitation with Liam one day of the week for three hours. Supervisors are Ashley, Connor's mother, Karen, and Connor's father. Within 30 days of the judgment, Connor must enroll in regular therapy. Ashley and Connor shall only communicate through the court-appointed app, Our Family Wizard. If Connor follows the terms and visitation goes well for three months, he could move on to step two. Step two will consist of Connor having unsupervised visitation with Liam one day every other weekend from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. If this goes well for two months, he could move on to step three, which increases his unsupervised visitation to two days of the weekend from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. every other weekend. If there are no issues for two months, he moves on to step four. Step four allows Connor to have two days every other weekend with one overnight visit with Liam until 10 a.m. the next day. And finally, if step four goes well after two months, Connor can move on to step five. Step five allows Connor to have Liam from Friday at 5 p.m. to Sunday at 5 p.m. every other weekend. Connor and Ashley are currently living in the same household as he has four months to find a new residence from the date of the judgment. Connor and Ashley are restrained from making any derogatory comments about each other to, or in the presence of, the child, or in any way diminishing the love, respect, and affection that the child has for either parent. The parties entered into the judgment at their own free will. An Oregon judge on the case signed off on the agreement. Connor has not responded to the U.S. son's request for comment. U.S. D. Battle the U.S. Sun previously reported on Ashley's hearing memorandum filed one day before their January 9 trial. In the court papers, Ashley claimed she has Liam at all times and has done so since his birth. Connor has parenting time with Liam nearly every time father wants as long as the parenting time is supervised by his father. The court papers read, Father rarely will take Liam for parenting time because he refuses to have his parenting time supervised by his father or anybody else, although he has allowed his father to supervise his parenting time on several occasions. It just depends on what father wants or how he feels at the time as to whether he will allow his father to supervise his parenting time with Liam. Ashley claims even though Connor has lived with Ashley since August 2023, he is unaware of Liam's daily routine. She claimed he attended all of Liam's medical appointments the first nine months of his life, but has expressed little interest in attending them since then. In the court papers, Ashley accused him of erratic and unsafe behavior. The docs claimed his behavior frightens mother, and she will take all reasonable precautions to assure that Liam is protected while in father's presence. Mother wants father and Liam to have a good relationship, but her first priority is to make sure that Liam is safe. The court filing continues to claim that a year before they separated, Connor allegedly told Ashley he would take Liam from her if she left or threatened to leave him. Ashley said of one incident, on one such occasion when Liam was approximately four months old, father threatened to take Liam and not come back. He was yelling at mother at the top of his lungs while holding Liam and shooting a video. Ashley admitted she lost her composure and hit father twice while he had Liam in his arms on mother's bed. She claimed she filed several police reports against father during the year that he lived with her, but no arrests took place. She said of a second incident, on one occasion, he took a bunch of mother's personal items and told mother that she had to take Liam out to his car in order to get them back. 
When mother took Liam to put him in father's car, father sped off down the road with mother and Liam in the vehicle. He swerved at high speeds while Liam was screaming in the backseat. Yells Andy screams. On another occasion, she claimed Connor left her and Liam stranded on the side of the road. She also mentioned an alleged incident where Connor hit her on the elbow with his phone in front of Liam, which caused Liam to cry. Ashley continued to claim in the filing, father has locked mother out of the car on the side of the road while Liam remained in his car seat. Father has screamed at mother on multiple occasions for her and Liam to get out of the car. This happened mostly when Liam was two to nine months old. Throughout the history of this case, father constantly yells and screams around Liam until father gets his way. Father cannot stay calm if he is mad and he knows that he has anger issues. When father gets angry, he does not care who is around. He will break things, scream and yell and try to control the situation until everyone feels powerless. Father has narcissistic gaslighting behaviors. Lee Gale Trobel. Ashley then brought up the harassment charge filed by his mother Karen. As the U.S. Sun previously reported, Connor was charged with two counts of harassment against the little people, Big World Star, in January 2020. Then in May of that year, he received two additional charges of attempted use of physical force or the threatened use of a deadly weapon and did unlawfully and intentionally damage property the property of Karen Chandler. He pleaded not guilty to all at the time the charges were filed. Connor later pleaded guilty to misdemeanor criminal mischief on the day of his scheduled trial. The other three charges were dropped. Connor received 18 months of bench probation. Also in the custody court papers, Ashley mentioned his addiction struggles with Vanax, which Connor has been open about. Ashley then revealed Connor is $5,000 behind in child support as he was ordered to pay $799 a month. Ashley also provided a proposed custody and parenting plan that the judge approved. Connor did not respond to the U.S. son's request for comment regarding her hearing memorandum. He also did not respond to Ashley's hearing memorandum, QSTOD We War. As the U.S. son first reported, Ashley filed for sole custody on November 16, 2022. She wrote in her request, I am requesting supervised parenting time due to his recent threats against Liam and I, and previous threats in the past. I want him to win me. In Connor's response to her initial petition filed on December 15, 2022, he wrote, I deny that the petitioner receives sole custody. I request joint custody. I deny that any supervision is supervised. I deny the child support amount be finalized until a joint custody plan is ordered by the court. Connor continued, I request 50 50th custody of my son. I want him to intimately grow up above a slash and know his father. Regarding her claims, he responded, I agree to pursue treatment for this so I can develop a healthy relationship slash my son. The parties attended mediation on April 14, 2023, but no agreement was reached. Child Lee Sue On June 6, 2023, the Oregon Division of Child Support filed a judgment against Connor requesting child support for Liam, according to Oregon courts. He had been ordered to pay $799 a month and $4,794 in back child support. A lot of tears. Connor previously opened up to the U.S. Sun about their custody battle in an August 2023 interview. When asked how long he wasn't allowed to see Liam, he told the U.S. Sun, Six months, that was really hard, you know, a lot of staying up late at night, a lot of tears and a lot of confusion. It was really hard on my mental health. Through my past addiction, one big thing now that I'm clean, and I've been clean is working on feeling better mentally, and physically. So going through that was a struggle for me and I just had to really focus on like how to be okay. And it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever been through. 